welcome back to another LSPDFR patrol. Today we've got a bunch of updates that I've added into the game. However, before I start, I want to mention that the lack of videos has been due to an ear infection. Actually, July 4th, I went up to Lake Kiwi in South Carolina. Some of you guys might know where that is. And I was going down deep, trying to touch the bottom, going probably further than I needed to go depth wise. And I think I popped my ears and got water trapped in there. I've had muffled here. I feel like I'm barely here. Um, feels like I have cotton balls in my ear constantly. My left ear has been killing me, but I wanted to try to get out a video. And hopefully towards the end of the week, I'm gonna be feeling better and we'll try to get at least one role play stream in because it's been almost three weeks since I've streamed and I do miss it. So let me go over the updates during the actual video. I probably won't be talking as much, but some of you have requested that saying sometimes I explain things a little too much. So this pack is a new pack by Frost88 and it's based off Simpsonville Police Department. It comes with four different vehicles, 14 Tahoe, 11 Crown Vic, 16 FPIU, and 18 Charger. Obviously today we're going to be in the 2014 Tahoe. Um, this pack is based off Simpsonville Police Department. Uh, it's a city in Greenville County, South Carolina. It doesn't have a huge population as of, let's see, 2010 census population of 18,000. So for those who don't know about the census for the U.S., they do it every 10 years. So that'll get updated uh, probably next year should be for the 2020 census so not a huge area but the police department uh serves that city there so uh this pack is based off that i'll put real life pictures of what their police cars look like so you can compare we've got updates for m much of bajeljo's mods um his simple call outs he added support for 0.4.2 he's got a new call out which we might take a look at today uh more surprise and animal invasion call out Tons of new spawn locations, and he's fixed a bug in the overdose callout. Ultimate backup has a new update, support for 0.4.2, and there's a new no firearm tribute you can add. So if you like to play as British police and you don't want your back to have firearms, you can now do that uh, using the phrase shot fired. Vocal dispatch will activate the panic button for ultimate backup. And now your police partners will always follow you to get into the car, even if they're uh, in a guarding position. So good updates there. Also, uh, Stop the Pet has been updated for 0.4.2. A new feature dismiss pet option will allow you to choose whether the pet can return to the vehicle or force them to leave on foot. There's a new module for Disarm Vanilla LSPDFR Stop Interaction menu. So players can always activate Stop the Pet menu. We've seen some uh, clashes with those two modules and then we got some bug fixes for police uh, transport officer um, animal control unit and a tow vehicle keep its light bars on after we've been seen so great updates there I think that's all I've done for my game let's go ahead enough talking here let's get this started and uh, we'll continue to look at the simple callouts pack by Bajol Joe. Dispatch Lincoln 18, show me 1041 10 8. Roger. Reporting suspect is in Del Perro. Respond code 3. Dispatch Lincoln 18, copy that. Roger that. 1 Lincoln 18. We've got reports of somebody with a mental disorder, possibly with a weapon. We'll be responding code three to that scene. About a mile away in Del Perro. Roger that. We'll mention that the heavy vehicles, I've deleted their uh, big flag, so they should pull over a little better now for emergency lights. When responding to a call out, you have to go into the vehicles.meta file to do that, and I just had to do it manually. But we should see a little better uh, performance with those vehicles getting out of the way. 
Okay. So we're going to be on scene here. Oh yeah, there's somebody waving us down. Dispatch wing in 18, show me on scene. 10 4, copy that. Hey, sir, did you call 911? Girl's wandering around here with the hatchet. I'm so scared. Do you know where she is now? Yeah, I saw her a few blocks from here. I think she has a mental problem. Okay. Please stay safe in your house, and I'll handle this. Good luck. Please be safe. Okay. Somebody is walking around with the hatchet. That's great. Let me get another unit here on scene. Requesting code 3 backup. Assistance required in, uh, Del Perro. Copy that. On the way. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out a taser. Great, you parked in the room. Hey, we got a female wielding a hatchet in the area, so. Be on the alert, possible mental illness. Obviously, here at number one priority is public safety. Dude, yep, I found her. Dispatch found suspect. I'm gonna attempt to detain. Roger. All right, ma'am. Let's drop that He's hatchet for me. Stand down. What? Dispatch suspect located. Moving to engage. Sub subject running northbound. Uh, parallel to Interstate Two. Roger that. One Lincoln eighteen. On the ground, ma'am. You're gonna get tased if you don't stop. Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Get on that ground nice and easy. Okay. Can we cover, partner? We are code four. Suspect in custody. No further units required. Dispatch Lincoln 18. She had one in custody. Roger. One Lincoln 18. Alright, ma'am, right now I'm detaining you. We're gonna try to figure out why you're wielding a hatchet here in public. We had a concerned person call in, also you fled, but thank you for dropping the hatchet. We're gonna walk back to my car. Um, I believe she dropped it down here on the sidewalk, so we're gonna try to pick that up. And we'll question her as to what she was doing with the hatchet, see if she gives us any information, run some ID check, and uh, pretty much that's all we can do in this scenario. All right, we made it back to the car. Let's place her in front of the car. I'm gonna dismiss backup so they get out of the road there. Okay, ma'am. Like I told you, you're being uh, detained at this point in time because somebody called 911, you're loading a hatchet. Uh, what exactly were what you, what you doing? I'm off to see my girlfriend, she's pregnant. Okay, that's interesting. Um, do you have any other weapons on your person, ma'am? Wouldn't you like to know? Okay. Do you have any reason you're wielding the hatchet? Were you concerned for your own safety? Sorry, I didn't see anything. Okay. Um, do you understand what I'm telling you? No, not really. Okay. The person who called it in believes you might have some type of mental illness. Um... 
any reason you ran. I panicked. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and search your person now. See if you have anything else on you. Bomb blueprints. And she had a weapon. Holy moly. Okay. Maria Mo Monia. Alright, we're going to store that weapon. She does not have a concealed weapons permit. It's going to be another charge. Maria, have a seat in there for me. Right, I'm going to go ahead and store this gun. Partner picked up the hatchet there. Okay, so it's hard to tell, honestly, if she has a mental illness or not. We'll see if we have any notes here. She's only 19 years old. She's got a valid license. But why did she have weapons? I have no idea. It's very bizarre. I don't see any notes. So we're just going to make this arrest report. Uh, today it would be the assault um, since she had the hatchet out, deadly weapon. So assault is a fear uh, you're going to be a, of being attacked and battery is the actual action of being attacked. And then also she had the firearm. That'd be possession of the firearm. There we go. Just put unlicensed or we not a weagle, but she didn't have a concealed weapons permit. In addition to that, she had the bomb blueprints, which I don't know that it's, there is a charge for it. And the, all these charges are by Lost Boy Lazarus. He's been working really hard on uh, updating this list as well and improving it. So shout out to him as always. And then uh, we'll also get her for evading. Okay. There we go. All right. Yeah, it's going to be all our charges and uh, we'll get, a, get her a mental evaluation. I'm actually going to send her via hospital, via ambulance to a hospital to get checked out to make sure uh, she's okay because somebody thinks she has a mental illness or somebody, yeah, 911 caller. I can't really tell. I didn't see any notes. All right, Maria, I'm going to call an ambulance out here and we're going to send you to uh, the local hospital, get a mental evaluation, make sure everything's okay. Assistance required in uh, Del Perro. And like I said, that's pretty much it. Once the ambulance gets here, we will release her and she will get evaluated and uh, we'll be all code four here. All right, guys, all yours. You Dispatch Lincoln, 18, Jimmy, code four. Get the out of my way! Okay, I got a fire alarm going up to my 20. I'm sure it's negative. Had this vehicle run the stop sign when he was making a uh, turn. That's a four-way stop behind us, so we're gonna make a traffic stop. He's getting onto Magellan. Is he running? Yep. A 148 on, uh, Dispatch Week in 18, we're going to be in pursuit of a silver sports car. Pulling a traffic stop, we're going to be at the parking lot of Del Perro. Vehicle just ran into a road barrier, continuing to drive. Holy moly. Requesting play check. Requesting code three backup. Assistance 
So I'm just going to be running on foot. We're going to be eastbound a quality way. White male, blue t-shirt, black pants. And he is pretty quick. Let's see if we can catch up here. Free start, LSPD. I'm having an okay vacation. You're under arrest. I'm going to tase you if you don't stop, sir. Taser deployed. Let me, Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands, buddy. On the ground, I'm going to tase you again. So we'll have to get a medical when we're done here. Standard procedure, someone's been tased. What the heck was that about? All right, never let down your guard if you're trying to arrest somebody. Sometimes they will resist at this point and uh, even pull a weapon I've had. All right, I'm gonna walk him back down to the police car and uh, we'll start questioning him. Requesting code two backup. Assistance needed on Magellan Avenue. Gonna get a unit out here for some traffic control. Acknowledge. On our way. All right, man. What's what's going on? What the heck was that? Why were you running in in your vehicle? Just hoping you could tell me. Well, uh, the reason I pulled you over, you ran a stop sign when you're turning on the Magellan here. Can't go to jail. Well, at this point, uh, doesn't matter. All right, is there anything illegal on you? Should have run, honestly. Depends on why you want to know. Okay. All right, you want to play that game, huh? All right, I'm going to search you and the car. So if there's something illegal in there, might as well just tell me, man. Oh, we got unmarked pills. Man, that's why I ran. Alexander Gorski. All right, so you're gonna be placed under arrest for fleeing the traffic stop. Um, these pills, sir. We can uh, question him about the pills. All right. It does not look like it, so I'm gonna place him in the car here. Yeah, uh, if you could just run some traffic control, I'm gonna search his vehicle. He's trying to flee. Hey. Requesting plate check. Mizir 3 Frank, Zebra Queen 315. Target vehicle license plate. Michael. Zero 03 Frank, Zebra Queen 3 He's not the registered owner, not coming no, back to stolen though. Let's go ahead and search this. Uh, we got uh, ten thousand dollars of counterfeit currency and an inmate's outfit. All right, I'm gonna go ahead uh, store all this up. We have the unmarked pills and the counterfeit. There you go. We're gonna run the unmarked pills. It was in someone else's name. Oh my gosh. That menu's still glitchy, as you can see. All right, yeah, just watch them for me. That'll work. All right, sir, so I'm gonna test these uh, pills. They come back as uh Narcotics, you're going to be charged with that as well. And also, I found a bunch of counterfeit money. You're going to be charged with that too. We'll have to get them an ambulance still for the taser. Yep. Okay. They're going to be uh, some type of opiate or opioid. So we got that. Let's get the tow truck. Requesting tow truck. Required on uh, Magellan Avenue. All right, watch them. Let me write up these charges real quick. See if he has warrants. 
Nope. Uh, he does have a past history of a just one parking citation. So today it's going to be the traffic. It's going to be, um, I would say, reckless evading. And then we are going to have the possession of the counterfeit money, which is the felony. In addition to the morphine. Three felonies. All right, sir, like I said, I'm gonna get you an ambulance that you've been tased, just standard procedure. Of course, you're still under arrest. Backup needed on um, Magellan Avenue. Hey, yep, what? So when the tow truck took it, still lights are on. That's pretty cool. That's a new update with ultimate backup. All right, guys, just move right here. You're not my partner. Still need you to watch him. All right, so uh, we're just waiting for the ambulance to come take him, and that's pretty much going to conclude our patrol. Like I said, videos this week might be sparse. Just kind of depends how I feel with this ear infection. I've had an ear infection forever, but they really suck, man. They are super painful. Kind of hurts to talk a lot, and also my hearing is just really messed up. But anyway. Uh, if you made it to the end, thanks for for uh, struggling through it. Uh, I do really appreciate you guys watching my videos. As always, suggestions are welcome, so feel free to leave any feedback. And I'll catch you guys on the next patrol.